So it all started off with Einstein's theory of relativity. He mentions that if a person is in a rocket ship in outer space accelerating at 9.8 meters per second squared, he will feel 1g. And if the same person is standing on, on earth, on the ground, he will also feel 1g. Now, the, th the, 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 the thing that Einstein came up with was, uh, uh, well, a stroke of genius, that there's no experiment that person will be able to do who's in outer space in the rocket ship to see if he's in a rocket or he's on, uh, 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 on the earth. And that gave him the, the, the clue to come to the conclusion that there is no difference between a person in a rocket ship and on earth. So his conclusion was that gravity is not a force, it's the effect of acceleration. I think first of all, we should uh, try to understand why it's not a force. When Einstein says that gravity is not a force, it is the effect of acceleration. Now, we have come to the point where we have come, we, uh, the, the basic building blocks of everything is the standard model. The standard model has uh, three layers and the first layer is neutrinos, up quarks, down quarks and electrons. So basically our, our universe is made out of these four components, neutrinos, up quarks, down quarks and electrons. And there's three, uh, three layers of these in higher energies. Uh, these, these are the four uh, main building blocks and they have like four brothers and four sisters which we don't come across but they, they do exist. And there's three forces that we know of. Three forces. One force is the, the force that keeps the neutron and the proton, the quarks in the neutron and the proton together. And that is uh, one of the, the strongest forces we know about. And that's called aptly the strong force. Then there's the weak nuclear force. The weak nuclear force, the strong force is uh, uh, the particle involved in that is the gluon. And in the weak nuclear force, the, the particles are the W and Z bosons. And then you come to the, uh, what do you call it, uh, electromagnetism. And the particle involved in that is the photon. So in the strong force, the boson is working in such a way that it, it, it behaves like a force rather than uh, a particle. And it creates a force keeping the, the uh, quarks, the down quarks and the up quarks inside and that becomes the neutron. And if there's two up quarks and one down quark, then that becomes a proton. It has a positive charge, the neutron doesn't have any charge. So when Physicists, physicists talk about uh, force, uh, forces. They're talking about a force 
that has a particle that creates that force. So we have the strong force, we have the weak nuclear force, and we have the electromagnetic force. And it was what do you call contemplated by scientists over, you know, as long as uh, uh, people knew about it, that gravity is the fourth force. And the, 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 the particle that would be, what do you call, uh, causing gravity would be the graviton. So that's what, what's meant by a force. So the, the, uh, the three forces that we know of, we only know about four forces. And the fourth force, Einstein came up with this uh, conclusion that gravity is not a force. It is the effect of acceleration. So if we kind of have a little bit of faith in Einstein, and I think this is... Uh, what's been lacking in the, the, the scientific world, that even today, people are looking for a graviton. And uh, I think maybe they're, uh, they're, they don't have any, uh, they don't trust Einstein or they don't have any faith in Einstein. Anyway, but if you, if you take Einstein's words and investigate on that basis, because if you look at uh, Einstein's uh, track record, it's been pretty good. You know, you, you can't, uh, you, uh, everything that he theorized has, has been materialized, has been proved uh, more or less. So, if you conclude that Einstein was correct, that gravity is the force of acceleration, then there's only two ways, there's only two ways that we could feel acceleration while apparently not moving. The first, the first one would be that the ground is accelerating upwards at 9.8 meters per second squared, which makes us, uh, pin, pins us down to the floor, feeling the, the force of 1G. Now, we live in a world that is, uh, is spherical. And no matter where you are on this world, you will feel 1G. So that would mean that the world, the earth, is growing or getting bigger at the rate of 10 meters per second every second, pinning everyone to the world to the earth. But obviously we, we know that the, the, the size of the earth isn't getting any bigger. So the first, first uh, uh, option can be ruled out. So the only option we have left now is the fabric of space is coming down. In, nine, in, uh, in 2012, in the Large Hadron Collider, uh, a particle was uh, uh, proved, or, uh, uh, and it was the Higgs boson. And the Higgs boson is uh, related to the Higgs field. The Higgs field is the field that gives mass to, to everything. So the Higgs field, along with other fields, uh, quantum 
uh, the quantum field theory. The quantum field theory has umpteen fields, the electron field, the uh, approximately 36 different fields associated with different particles and different forces. Not, uh, not to say that there's 36 particles or, you know, uh, all the particles added together and all the forces added together add up to 36. No. Uh, some of the, the, the charge fields, for example. Some of the spin fields. So all the different aspects of different particles have a, have a separate field. But the Higgs field in, in, in particular, that is everywhere in space. And if we move in that space, we will feel uh, we we will feel mass. We, we uh, mass will uh, what do you call uh, 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 come out? Uh, the particles will have mass, or that field moves, and the 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 material is stationary, but it will feel movement because the field, anything that moves in that field or the field moves, it will uh, create mass. It, it will, mass will uh, become the, will become evident. So although we are not moving, the earth is not moving, but the field which we called the, the what do you call, uh, uh, the fabric of space, which uh, the, the fields are inside the fabric of space, if that space moves, then you will feel acceleration. So this is, this is, uh, this is, this can be the only other way that we could feel acceleration while apparently not moving. It's the fabric of space that's moving. So if the fabric of space is moving down towards the center of the earth from all directions, the problem is where is that vacuum or the the what do you call it uh, the fabric of space going to it's all fair and fair and well saying that the fabric of space is coming down and everything has to kind of is uh, the fabric of space is ex accelerating down is accelerating down and everything that is on the earth is pinned to the earth But where is that fabric, fabric of space going? To, to understand this, we have to understand a little bit more about the fabric of space. And we have to understand a little bit more about uh, the, the, the Earth itself and what it's made of.